What's up, everybody? And this is the day you've been waiting for, or at least, well, some of you. Uh, this is the plantation release video, and uh, it is now available for download on www.nlagaming.com. Just head over there, click the FS19 uh, button at, at the top middle there, kind of. It'll take you to the FS19 page. You can click the download for the plantation. And as soon as this thing loads up, here it is, we'll get started and we'll do a little driving tour of the map. And let's see. So let me get a vehicle purchased here. All right, so when you first start off, obviously you're here in front of the uh, little office building. Uh, there's, you know, some lights and the flag and all that. And in the same spot, kind of as last time, there is a, a fuel station right there. And uh, now the differences start kind of over here in this area. Uh, before, you know, there was the crane with the log cell point over on this sort of area of the map. And I think that building there was a little different, but it was... Uh, had the wood chips, I believe, over there. We'll go look at that in a second. Okay, so back here behind this office building is now where you purchase and sell the vehicles. There's this little garage building, and here's here's our trucks. So we'll hop in here and kind of drive around a little bit. Okay, so starting off, uh, like I mentioned, the the fuel stations right there in front of us, and but over here now, next to this these piles of logs, is where the the log cell point is now so and I had made this thing a good bit bigger and taller uh, so maybe you could stack up a bunch of wood and um, you know sell a whole bunch at one time but I found that the more I expanded it the kind of flakier it got when you when you had the log truck way over here on the end and then went over to sell the logs it didn't want to sell them so I had to make it a little bit smaller but and, I, and probably what I may do it's like possibly like a version two. I may come back in here and put some kind of log racks or something in case you want to offload your logs off your trailers and put them on a little rack and then sell them so they're not scattered all over the place. But um, okay, so the map's basically the same here. Let me, let me pull up the uh, let me pull up the the PDA so we can take a look. Okay, so basically I just reused uh, the PDA from last time because it's exactly the same the layout um, there are a bunch of differences though we'll get into that here in a little bit uh, most of them at the sawmill uh, now of course because we don't have uh, weight scales you remember in 17 over here at the entrance there was a scale on either side over there those aren't out yet uh, whenever those do finally get released I'll put those in and update the map into like version 2 or something um, let's see, the other thing was uh, there's no lumber mill and no wood crusher. Remember, there was a wood crusher over here, I believe, and I had like a wood chip storage area back there, I think. It's a little small one, maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> and, and then there was, but there was a wood crusher over here, and over here on this side, there was a lumber mill that made pallets of, uh, you know, boards. So we don't have that yet. Uh, whenever that does come out, I will update the map and add those in. But otherwise, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, we'll go drive around and take a look. Okay, so leaving the sawmill, I did add a few bit, you know, a bit more detail. There's that tree there; it wasn't there before, and uh, these sort of guard shacks are in place of the weight scales. Like I said, whenever those come out, we'll uh, I'll add those in. Now I did add these marked trees, and that's just sort of decoration. Uh, around here, uh, if something's painted purple like that, it's usually a you know no trespassing thing and just boundary markers and whatever. Now I did up, I add this little sign here. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, NLA Forest Products proudly serving your lumber needs since 2019. <laughs> so we, we've been in business, business a long time. <laughs> but uh, anyway. And, oh, I guess I should mention, too, the, the stuff you own. Let's look at that. Okay, so let me zoom out here and center that up. And then I'll turn on the lands. You can see that. Okay, so when you first start off the, the map, uh, I just kind of made it just to be as simple as possible for me. 
um, all these areas in green, which actually inclu includes all the roads and even this little creek or river or whatever you want to call it, um, that's all uh, that's all owned by you to start off with just to make it easier so that um, whenever you need to tip something, especially here at the sawmill, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, you don't own it because you already do. Uh, now this tract here, which is actually tract, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, tract six, uh, I've made it also default ownership so you can get started logging there if you want to. Now if not, you can sell it. Um, you can get 1.6 million for it and buy one of these other tracks. And I just left the uh, default um, price scale that Giants had. So some of these things aren't too terribly expensive. Now some of them are. Like, you know, there's 133,000, 155, you know, there's different ones. But uh, you can purchase all those now. And I thought that was pretty cool. Got them all separated out by tracks. And like I said, I, I reused the PDA from before, so some of these little roads up here aren't exactly perfect, but, you know, hey, just pretend they are. Okay, so let's get out of there. Let's get back to the tour. Let's go over here to the factory first, and we'll take a look at that. And uh, I added in some extra little details I thought was pretty cool, like uh, these little pine plantation tree farm signs. That's pretty neat. Added those in. And uh, there's a couple other little Easter eggs that uh, I'm not going to mention, and you just have to find them. And uh, when you do, send me some screenshots or something, put them on, or my Facebook page or uh, whatever. But and then uh, okay, so this this little entrance here is pretty neat because uh, if you notice on the map, uh, it's sort of between field number three and this is field number four back here to our left. And I guess I should have numbered these things, but if you start in the bottom left. Uh, let me just go back to here. So if you start in the bottom left, if you can see my cursor, yeah, you should be able to. Uh, this this tract here is one, and it just goes from left to right, then right to left. So basically corn rolling back and forth. So there's one, maybe I should do it this way. There's field one, or track one, two, three, four. Then it goes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and then from the top goes 12 13 14 15 so across from the the power line up here in the very top corner is 15 uh, and one thing to mention about these farmlands too I, I tried like three times trying to figure out why i was still getting a warning about not all pixels were drawn in or whatever i should have done that a little bit differently when i first started and i realized that now because what i did to start was to remove all of the farmlands uh, just by right clicking and deleting everything and then drawing them back in what I should have done was drawn number 16 in first Which is what you own the saw the sawmill and the roads all that stuff is in this number 16 I should have started with that then drawn back over the top of it, but I did it the wrong way So anyway, and then it, it does give you a warning about not all pixels are, are colored in or whatever But it, it's not going to affect the gameplay whatsoever. I don't believe it's just a warning telling you this are not all filled in Okay, so there's that. But this is pretty cool here. As a private property, no trespassing sign. Uh, I've got one fence here that leads into kind of this field number four area. Then there's another fence right over here that leads into the uh, field number three area. So I thought that was pretty cool and give you a way to get in there. And uh, I mean, if you notice, there's lots of uh, fences and gates and stuff because that's that's how it is down here. I mean, that's. I'm kind of loosely basing this off of you know where I where I'm from here in North Louisiana, and we uh we like to fence stuff in so keep everybody out of there and animals in and whatever. There's another entrance right there into field number four. Some of these bigger tracks, I tried to put multiple entrances in so you're not having to. You know, skid a huge distance to uh, your your landing, and uh, truck the wood. You know, a, a long way. Of course, well, I guess the sawmills in one spot, but but mainly for the landings. Okay, so um, this spot here, if you remember, was a point to where you could sell the uh, lumber whenever it was produced. 
Got some detail back here, a few uh, tires, and a couple of uh, trash bins with some trash. Somebody needs to come clean that up. But uh, anyway, there's a there is a, a wood chip cell point right here, so it's prepared for whenever we do get the uh, lumber mill. It's ready to go. Just we can't nothing to produce yet. All right, so continuing our journey, let's. Uh, Let's head back to the uh, back right corner back there. And uh, I guess I should mention that uh, if you have a uh, somewhat weaker computer, uh, you, you may already know this on, on some of the more intense maps, but you may need to turn your graphic settings down. Uh, right now on my computer, I'm running it on high uh, with some modifications to like shadows and stuff so it's it's running pretty good uh, you know we're about 50 FPS right now it'll bump to 60 in some cases but uh, whenever I start moving and a bunch of trees start trying to draw and stuff it bumps down a little bit about 40 but you know there's there's another entrance there there's an entrance on the other side this is uh, still track number six right over here so I made lots of entrances to the uh, track so you can navigate in there. And of course lots of, lots of barbed wire fence, so I mean uh, you can't just... Uh, oh and ditches too, Again, here's, you can see the ditches. Uh, you can't just drive off in there and start logging like you did before. You gotta go where you're supposed to go. <laughs> and uh, this field turned out pretty cool over here. Uh, you know, looks like a, just a cut over you know, deal, and that's kind of what I was going for last time in 17, and I think it turned out pretty good there too, but uh, uh, with this one, you know, since you can use uh, a plow and knock them bushes down, it'd be kind of cool for somebody to, you know, go in there, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to, I guess, or you could just let the trees grow up and around the bushes, but knock all that down and plant trees and let them grow. Now, the one thing I haven't tested, um, uh, and you know, I, I just, I just don't. Uh, well, to be honest, I just really don't care too much about the farming side of it. But um, I don't know if you can plow. My guess is you can plow and plant stuff, but you can't hire a worker because it's not a defined field. So that's not going to work. If you're, if you're thinking about, you know, knocking all these trees down and planting a, a, a big field of wheat or something, and then having some workers go in there and, you know, I didn't, I didn't define any fields, so. That's not going to work. I don't think. I don't see how it could work if there's no field to find for your worker to plant for you or harvest or whatever. So you do all that manually. Just another little entrance there to another little landing. Okay, so the bridges here coming across this, uh, well, we'll call it a creek. It's not really a river, more of a creek. Yeah, it's a little bit of trash and stuff around. Again, barbed wire fences everywhere. Uh, some more of these marked pines. You can kind of know that you're not supposed to go in there. All right, let's drive on back here to the back where this power line is. You can kind of see that. And then we'll head back over to the uh, other side of the map and just kind of end up back at the sawmill. And now uh, this road here is a little bit different from the PDA, so if you've got the PDA pulled up and you're looking at it, um, sorry, I just I, I just got a little lazy and, and wanted to reuse the the other PDA. I mean, it's not far off, you know. You can see we're still pretty much right on the road, and it does veer off a good bit right up here somewhere. But if you're a perfectionist, I'm sorry, but I uh, just wanted to reuse the the PDA <laughs> instead of redoing it. It's close enough. I mean, it's all right. So we should be coming up here to the power line just any minute. And um, well, one thing also, I guess, that could help with your frame rates is you see all these little small trees I've got put in here. I didn't put a ton of them this time. In fact, I think there's even less trees here on uh, the FS19 version than there was on 17. Because I put a ton of those little trees in there, and I found that. They really kind of got annoying whenever I was doing cutting because uh, you had to, well, on the small trees on FS17, 
the real small ones, you could cut them and they'd still be around. This time, uh, I think whenever you cut them, they just disappear because they're so small. But I didn't want to put a bunch of them things because it does affect your frame rate quite a bit. So I put, uh, these are stage threes right here, these little smaller ones on the side of the road. So I just put a, a few of those around. But what I was going to say was you may have to come in here and just cut those things down and chip them up or whatever um, so you can, you know, help out with your frame rate a little bit. But uh, I tried to put the clip distance uh, low enough to where you could still get a sense of it's a dense forest but then not be overwhelming your system. But uh, I did test this on my other computer which is a uh, older Dell computer. It doesn't have quite as good a processor. Um, the graphics card in there is quite a bit older. I was running everything on medium and still getting basically the same frame rate as I'm getting over here on this computer running everything on high with a few custom shadow things. So uh, and then of course as you can see you got power lines where they were before you know things like that. So uh, come check that out that's pretty cool. And let's head back over to the other side of the map come back down the uh, other side but I mean like, like I said if, if you're familiar with uh, the plantation over on 17 it's basically the same there's nothing not a whole lot changed just some of the detail and stuff I mean I'm, I'm really uh, I'm really happy with the way this turned out I'm really uh, was thinking that this was the way I was wanting it to be in 17 the problem was in 17 all these bushes that are on the sides of the roads I had to add those by hand and I got tired of putting all them things in there and you couldn't do nothing with them you couldn't plow them uh, in 17 you couldn't cut them down it was there so I'm really excited about 19 being able to add all these bushes in here and uh, being able to see uh, well and, that, and then the fact that you can plow them, plow them over too is pretty cool alright so there's that part of the map the road behind us there just kinda dead ends and we'll go back over the bridge and take a right up here and head back over to the other side of the map. And I was going to add a bit more detail in these plantations, you know, more bushes and smaller trees and stuff, but I didn't want to hurt the frame rates too bad, and I just kind of got tired of clicking, putting bushes down too. So out there in the middle of these plantations, you'll see there's probably not a lot of bushes in some spots, and I just that's just where I got tired of. Uh, see out that way I just got tired of putting putting that stuff in there okay so coming over here to this side of the map go over the river or creek or whatever again there's another bridge there of course and then on this side up here we'll, we'll look at it here in a second uh, of course there's uh, this spot here which leads up to the uh, double double landing spot up there then there on this side, on the left hand side is the, the lake. And we'll take a look at that. And I'll show you something pretty cool about the lake too that I did. Okay, so let me, uh, I should have made a road in here. That's what I, I may do that for version 2. I may uh, add a little dirt road back in here so you can come back this way. But uh, let me show you something pretty neat about this. Turn that frame rate off. We know it's pretty good. Okay, let me find the spot. I think it's right here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, at this spot right here, you know, it looks like just um, maybe a shallow spot to get over to this uh, island. Well, I did add in a, a spot where you can drive across. You can see right there. You can go just right across. And where that is, is uh, just at the, the, the edge right there of the... Uh, the little island. So you can come up here and log all these. Before in 17, I don't think you could make it across. You would have had to have either built a road over or uh, put a bridge in or something like that. But right here where these lily pads are, that's where your spot is to come across. And I don't, you know, I haven't really tested. It looks like uh, anywhere right in there should be able to make it across. 
All right, well, let's continue our little driving tour. I don't want to spend just a whole lot of time, but I do want to show you just a couple more things. And all, all the detailed trees along the river I thought was pretty neat too. That kind of gives it a more realistic effect of having those types of trees along the rivers and ponds and stuff. Alright, so there's uh, another landing just right off the road. I did add in some hills. You can see there, because uh, I think before it was just a little too flat. And there's a, a landing that's been a little bit overgrown uh, that you know leads out there to the cutover so you can use that. There's another one on the other side too. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I added in some hills and stuff uh, just to give it a bit more you know, where it's not quite so flat. And these little culverts are pretty cool. You can see the little concrete pipes in there I use for culverts. Uh, I started to put a bunch of bushes and stuff along the roads, but I thought, well, in real life, the uh, the highway department's gonna come through there and mow the ditches and stuff, so they probably wouldn't get too overgrown. So I took a bunch of bushes out, but Anyway, that just dead ends, and of course, lots of big ditches, so you can't drive a log truck, you know, or a little boy or anything through there. You gotta use my entrances, unless you wanna, you know, it, when the building materials mod comes out, where you can put gravel down or something, if you wanna fill in and make your little spot, that'd be kinda neat, but so far, that's not out yet. I, I looked yesterday. <laughs> Impatiently waiting on that, because I've got some good ideas uh, once that does come out. I love this little drive through here with the sun coming through those trees like that. It's pretty neat. All right, and uh, let's see what else. Yeah, just about every tract has uh, barbed wire fence around it with entrances you have to use. And uh, so this field to my right that we just looked at is field number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Field number seven. There's an entrance. Uh, we just saw it back over there on that row between uh, 7 and 8. And then there's another entrance over here to our right. We'll come down and look at that. And I almost forgot about putting an entrance to field number 1, which is to our left. And so I added that in right down here on the left. <clears throat> I got to thinking, wait a minute, where's the, where's the entrance for field number 1? <laughs> so I had to add one in. So there it is right there to your left. And then the other side of field number seven is right here. And it's fairly flat, so you should just be able to clear out some trees and uh, build you a little landing in there. And of course the road just dead ends right up there. So that's about it. I'm gonna head back up here to the sawmill. And uh, so yeah, by the time you, you see this video, it will be up on the, the webpage. You can go to nlagaming.com click on the FS19 logo and it should take you right to the FS19 page of my website and you can download there next to uh, the plantation but uh, by the time you see this video and all that I'll have tested the vi uh, the game map one more time just to make sure everything is working the the log cell point the wood chips uh, the vehicle I think the vehicle is pretty good in fact we can look at it right now because we're done with it can sell this thing so just come over here yep and sell all right there it goes okay and uh, this over here you can you know buy vehicles if you want to so that's working but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the plantation. I, I'm really glad and happy the way this thing turned out. But like I said, once the new stuff comes out, the weight scales, the uh, lumber mill, maybe a wood crusher. I like to put in a wood crusher right over here on this side. Or I may switch it up and put the, uh, the lumber mill over here on this side. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about that. But there's plenty of room here, by the way, if you want to uh, 
you know, put placeables in other buildings, shops, whatever. Um, I left plenty of rooms for future expansion. And uh, oh yeah, I, got, I didn't show you the wood chip cell point. Well, it's it's just right over here on the other side of this uh, standard giant's lump, lumber whatever thing here sawmill, I guess I should say. But it's just right over here, and I took the fence out just to make it easier to, uh, you know, drive vehicles in and out and maneuver around and whatever. So there's your uh, wood chip cell point. There's a couple of lights there. I put those in. Let's see where where it go. <laughs> Well, there's one there anyway. Thought I had one more over here. Maybe I took it out because it was in the way. But anyway, that is the sawmill. And uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy this map. And um, stay tuned for future updates because I do want to. Like I said, I do want to add in the the lumber mill and the wood crusher and the weight scales uh, just to add a little bit more detail. And uh, yeah, as soon as those come out, I'll put them in there. But anyway, thanks for watching this uh, preview video, and hope everybody has fun playing the map. And let me know if you run across any issues. Uh, you, can, you can leave a comment here on this video, or catch me on Facebook or Discord. But uh, anyway, I, I'll uh, certainly check those out if I if anything comes up. But like I said, I've done a fair amount of testing on this, and it seems to be working pretty good. But I will test this one more time. And, uh, oh, I guess I should say this does work with, uh, as far as I know, it works with 1.3 patch. I haven't uh, tested it out fully, but uh, my other computer, my test computer, is running 1.3, and the map plays fine. So, with uh, no errors at all over there. But, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little preview video, and let me know what you think, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.